Hey there, for real fam. It's your girl Anna back with another tech how-to for you. Today we're dealing with that tiny piece of technology that's a big part of our lives, our iPhones. Ever had those moments where you're missing calls because your ringer volume seems too low? Yeah, it's happened to me too, but don't worry, I've got you covered. So let's roll up our sleeves and dive in. So you're chilling out and suddenly you realize you've missed calls from your boss, even worse, from your loved ones. Bummer, right? This happens when your iPhone's ringtone or alarm volume is too low or changes unexpectedly. Don't worry, we're here to help you fix it. Now, you might be surprised, but your iPhone's Face ID has a role to play in this ringer volume mystery. Specifically, a feature called Attention Aware. This cheeky feature lowers your volume when it thinks you're looking at the screen. It's like it's telling you, hey, you're looking right at me so I don't need to yell. But sometimes we need that extra volume. Let's turn that feature off. Now, let's get that volume back. One, jump over to settings and then face ID and passcode. Two, punch in your passcode. Three, then look for attention aware features and switch it off. Boom, no more auto dimming ringer volume. Hey, if you find this helpful, remember to hit that like button, subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments. We love hearing from you. Now for our iPhone 15 or newer users, there's this nifty feature called the action button. It's like the Swiss army knife of buttons because you can customize it for different actions. But today we're focusing on its role in controlling the silent mode. If your ringer is giving you trouble, ensure you haven't accidentally slipped into silent mode. And for those without face ID or if your issue isn't associated with the attention aware feature or action button, you can manually increase your ringer volume. If you want to control the ringer's volume with the side buttons, you'll have to toggle change with buttons in the sounds and haptics settings and to crank up the volume to the max, have the ringer and alert slider to the right in the same settings. For those using older models without an action button, you can check the mute switch on the side of your iPhone. If your ringer volume is acting out, make sure the mute switch isn't flipped on. And that's a wrap, guys. I hope this helps you out next time you're expecting that important call and don't want to miss it. Remember, these simple settings can make a huge difference in how you experience your iPhone. Here at 4Real, we've got your back. We'll keep unraveling the tech world for you one video at a time. This is Anna signing off and remember, keep it real with 4Real.